previously on Lion Moms. Jason, Hi. I was just wondering if you would mind playing a little bit of badminton with Nabila. Coach Chang thinks that she'll benefit from more gameplay. All right, Ada, let's start with 10 laps. Warm up. I don't want to swim, Mommy. Ada, this is really important to Mommy. Can you do it for me? I want you to testify about what's best for Kai's interests. It's in his best interest that his parents not fight over him. Do you really think I would have let Kai come anywhere near you if I had known how much of a narcissistic elitist you are? Please, Marcus. No, Darren. It's time Minnie and her lawyer understand their position clearly. A mother's job is to do whatever you can for your child. And she doesn't realise that it's making her a bad mother. I just want us to stop fighting because all it's doing is upsetting Kai. See you in court. Are you hungry, Jason? Burgers again? You don't like my food? You know that's not true, Yaya. Your mom called, and she reminded me that your exams is three weeks away. She also say she's busy today. We'll call you next week. It's okay. Her work's important. Can you see it in my I'm gonna go study. I'm going to make your favorite chicken adobo. Would you like fried rice with it? Sure. I just can't repair. Don't you see my bleeding heart? I fight to heal the pain. And it's something I just have to bear. And every time I try to smile each day, if only for a moment it's okay. Don't you ever feel Very slow today, Ada. What's up? I had a lot of homework last night. Ada, your strokes are lazy, your breathing is sloppy. You're not even working your legs. You keep this up, you're not gonna make the school team. Wasn't it just CA1 a few weeks ago? SA1 is more important than CA1, Mommy. It's the midterms. Look, baby, I don't think you need to worry about those exams. You've been doing fine in school. Mommy, I don't think Grandma's ready. She will want to have exam food ready for me to boost my brain power. And also to do revision with me. Well, you won't be seeing Grandma for a few weeks, so I'm sure she'll have time to get ready. If you ever see her again. Morning, Sayang. Morning, Sayang. Did I just go grocery shopping the other day? 
Oh, um, this is for Nabila. Meetups in four weeks. Chicken essence, salmon, sardines, walnuts, muesli. Brain food. Chocolate covered pretzel sticks, potato chips, strawberry mini ice cream cones. Incentives. Dark chocolate, Red Bull, instant noodles. These are for me. Okay, so I gotta go. I need to track down Jason and ask him what exactly I should expect for SA1. Bye. Oh, um, sayang, Dina will be busy helping me get Nabila to enrichment classes and cooking for her. So, you'll be on army rations. Bye. Richard. She's only in P1, and she's averaging 55%. Yeah, but she started her enrichment classes only a few months ago. Give us some time, Jen. Yeah, but the coach is even worried that she may not make it on the team now. And what's that? Is this the Chinese test result? It's her swim times. I mean, one thing she is, she's consistently erratic. Yeah, but a few weeks should be enough to prepare Jen. Yeah, but what if she confuses her enrichment material with her school exam material? But we can't go back to teaching her. What about peer learning? I mean, if you study with your friends, it's easier to learn something. Plus, kids can explain each other things in ways that we can. Actually, that's a really good idea. And I'm pretty sure Durrani wouldn't mind having Nabila out of her hair for a few hours. I should have taken the money from Abba a long time ago. If I did, our family wouldn't be in this situation. Abba wants to meet you. But only if you want to. He said something about a job. Working for him? I don't know. Well, no harm in hearing him out. Why don't we just go and see what he has to say? Let's go sit around my table. I heard that Harry Chow decided to go back to normal P3. Huh, he was cool, but kind of dumb. He told his mom he doesn't think he's really gifted. He was in the same arrangement center as Boris Fung, who is really smart. Boris's mom is Gyasu. She knew he was going to get in for GEP, but just wanted to make sure he got in. I didn't do GEP enrichment, and I'm here. People who aren't really gifted shouldn't be in the program. Figure out your individualized research study project yet? Unlike you, none of us have been thinking about it since we stepped foot into P1. I was thinking about a study called Separating the Gifted from the Merely Smart. I'm thinking of a scientific experiment. Which flowers bloom better? Those from nature or those from nurture? <laughs> you really hate her, don't you? Her opinions are so boring. She just gives the textbook answer. Those hothouse flowers never really bloom. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's enrichment and then SA1 is coming and there's CCA. Uh, I don't know if she can handle all the stress, you know. And she's not even telling me, even if she's stressed, she's not the kind who will tell me that she is stressed. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, you don't really need to worry about CCA because everything automatically stops about two weeks before the exams. Um, what about enrichment then? Did you stop too? Um, you can ask the centre if they help with mock papers. Excellent tip, Jason. Uh, sorry, Auntie, but I need to meet with the in a few minutes. Oh. <laughs> Jason, what's this room? This is the cheapest room. Cheapers. There are people who qualified for the Gifts Education Programme in Primary 3. What's in the room? Um, I've only been in there once when Vincent took me in. non jeepers aren't allowed in there. Wait, you're not a jeeper? But you're so smart. Um, well, I didn't go for the GP prep. I made the first cut, but not the second. Um, there's a fridge in there with um, some snacks and drinks. A few educational board games. It's good if you need some place quiet. 
smart. Well, being smart has its perks. I think being smart is all that matters. Thank you, Jason. So, I'll see you later. I'll see you later after badminton practice, yeah? See Auntie. Auntie. Hi. Um, Auntie and I were just talking about SA1. SA1 and P1? This is when everyone gets 100. When so not everyone's like your mom when it's everything all together. And it's nice that son finally care for once. Well, I care. Uh, you wanted to show me a book. Oh, yeah, it's inside. Follow me. grandma's house in a while. Mommy says nothing is wrong. I think that she's angry with grandma. All I do is swim and homework. Swim and homework. I'm bored. What are you so excited about? Exams. What's so exciting about exams? I don't know. But yesterday, Mummy bought me all of my favourite food. Even junk food? Even junk food. Exams must be a good thing, right? What? Whoops. What if Mom goes up there and says I'm a bad mother? She wouldn't. She loves you. Marcus has a recording of her saying, I'm a bad mother. Min, one offhand comment is not decisive evidence. Look, mothers, they see the darnest things, but you need to have more faith in Auntie. What if it's not an offhand comment? What if it's something she really believes and she repeats it? Min, you've been the person having care and control for the past seven years. It's going to take more than one person's opinion for the court to change the status quo. Has Kai had any episodes since? No. But that's because he hasn't seen either of them for a week. You know, I should go and check on Kai. That reminds me. I passed some people selling these, so I got us each copies. The P1 essay ones for all the other branded primary schools. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Kai will like this. Remember when we used to teach each other during JC? F Maths and JC, yes. I had the worst teacher. You saved me. Nobody had even heard of history tuition, but you were the best history tuition teacher ever. I know. <laughs> so I was wondering maybe Nabila and Ada could study together. I read that advanced students can reinforce their learning by helping less advanced students learn. Yeah, um, well, I'll get back to you on that once I organize Nabila's study schedule. <laughs> I thought you already had all that organized for Nabila. Well, her grade's pretty good. Um, ask me again next week when I press the panic button. Sure. For homework? 20 minutes. Don't rush. 20 minutes? That's not even the entire episode of a Disney cartoon. She's not going to be tested on her knowledge about Disney princesses in four weeks' time. Gila, it's P1. Does it matter? So maybe you should think about ways on how to make revision fun. <laughs> My sister and fun. It's like a needle that never meets the thread. How about some study dates with Kai and Ada? They could do a bit of revision and then have play break. Sayang, Nabila is number two in class, just behind Hilary, Chilean's daughter. If she wants to study, she should study with Hilary. I just don't see how Ada can help Nabila. Wait, 
Are you saying that Nabila will get dumber if she studies with someone who isn't as smart? That's not what I said. But you are thinking it. You think that she's not good enough for your daughter. It's not about Ada not being good enough for Nabila. It's about what Nabila needs. And what's that? To prepare for GEP. Gifted education program. Sayang, that's only when she gets to P3. Sayang, the GEP assessment exams is just like any other exam, okay? You need to prepare for it. And do you know that all those kids in GEP, they're not naturally gifted. They're all encouraged. Look, have you actually asked Nabila whether or not she would like to study with her friend, Ada? She would probably say yes, because Ada is her friend. But I just don't see how beneficial it is for Nabila to study with Ada. Makes me wonder how you felt when Mark made you teach me science. Did my stupidity rub off on you? Sayang, Nabila and Ada have been friends since they could crawl. You are taking things too far. I just don't want to slow things down for Nabila. Is that so wrong? You know what? The two of you are always ganging up on me. I know I'm doing what's best for Nabila. Okay, let's break out and discuss the topic. Should the media play the role of encouraging nationalism? Now go and get into groups of three. Sandra, you join Denzel's group. Margaret, join them. I think Kevin should present. Someone should take some notes about the discussion. My handwriting is bad. Okay, Margaret, you can scribe. Then you won't have to talk. Margaret? Sure, I can scribe. I think we should ask. How will Mr. Lee Kuan Yew answer this question? So does media include social media? Yes, there is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and so on. So you just want to figure like this. Yeah, that was good. Okay, okay. Okay, one last time. Yeah, that was good. Hi, Sayang. What happened? Oh, uh, the school decided to cancel Bampton CCA because some parents asked for it. Oh, thank God I wasn't that far away. Thanks, Jason, for staying with her. No problem. Uh, Jason, how about an ice cream date? Go. Oh, um, Jason, please tell your mom that you're with us and that I'll be sending you home after this. Oh, uh, she doesn't need to know where I am. Are you afraid to tell her because you're not supposed to be eating fast food? Uh... Don't worry, I won't let you get into trouble with your mom. Let me call her. Uh, she's with my dad in Canada. They have business there. Oh, so who takes care of you when they're not around? Uh, I'll help her, Joan. Well, I'll send her a message anyway. I'm sure she wants to know where you are and what you're doing. May I have your phone, please? What's your mom's name? Uh, Therese. Jason. Jabba. Thanks. I study here a lot. Oh, does the smell of fries motivate you to study harder? Uh... Studying at a fast food restaurant is the secret to your success? 
how well it's not so quiet here. Oh, that must be your mom. So, I've been meaning to ask you, why aren't you in the GEP? I'm sure you're smart enough for it. Well, my parents wanted me to focus on the PSLE and DSA as my options, so I didn't do the GP admission prep. But GP is still good insurance because some brand name schools were taking Jeepers even if their PSLE score doesn't make the exact cut. You should ask Auntie Chelian. She's the expert. I should. Thanks for the ice cream, Auntie. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Jason, when will your mum be back? I'd love to meet her. Um, I'm not very sure because sometimes she's overseas for two months at a time. But I'll let her know. Please. Uh, <laughs> this is me. Bye, Nabila. Bye. Jason? May I have your phone, please? Um, okay. I'm gonna give you my number. Anytime you feel like having dinner with Uncle Reza, Nabila and I, you can just call us. Dina always cooks too much anyway. Thank you, Auntie. You're welcome. Go on in. Thank you. What you just said, young lady. Room for another? She's only 11, but girls get conscious about their appearance early on in life. It wasn't about the clothes. She asked me about her mother. Suresh, it's... It's normal that she would want to know. There's nothing to know. She abandoned us. She didn't want to know us. A few years ago, when Sushila asked me, where's her mother? I lied. I said she disappeared. Invented some story on how she never returned home one day. And today she's asking me why we didn't find her. I don't know what to say. The custody hearing is tomorrow. My mother is going to be the first witness called by Marcus's lawyers. Everyone tells me not to worry, you know, but Marcus can't take Kai away because mothers always win. Everything's going to be all right. Don't you just love that one? I wish someone said that to me. Do mothers always win? Everything is going to be all right. Marcus has a recording of you saying I'm a bad mother. Say it wasn't you. Say he faked the recording. Say you didn't give the man who wants to take away my son evidence that I'm a bad mother. I haven't seen Marcus since, since you told me about the custody thing. I'm gonna lose my son. And it will be all your fault. Yours! How do I look?
Perfect. Smart, sophisticated, intelligent, and capable. It's exactly what we want to project. Sometime. You might as well be now, right? Okay? How's Kai? Fine. His SA1 is coming up soon, right? Yeah. I must go get him some chicken essence. And he misses you. Hi. Good morning, Amy. Thanks for coming today and doing this for Kai. Darren, can you please get your client away from the witness? She's my witness and I can say whatever I want to her. Maybe your client should go stick to his day job. Come on, let's go in. sitting with the jeep bus. No, it's okay. I can sit with you. Why? Want to feel like you're cleverer than all of us? Is everything all right? Are you not feeling well? Go. Why doesn't anyone like me? Who's bullying you? I'll go talk to them. No, they hate me. They are the jeepers. No one wants to work with me or be in a group with me. I'll go talk to them. Shouldn't be treating me like this. No! They hate me because they don't think I'm really gifted. And they're right. You didn't do any GP enrichment and you got in. I did all the GP enrichment. That's why I got in. I'm a hothouse flower and you're the real thing. I don't want to be in GP anymore. I just want to be a normal people. Margaret, you know not everyone gets to go to GP and if you leave, we can't get back in again. But if I talk to mommy? No, you can't. I just want to be normal, Coco. Not gifted, not dumb, just normal. What's wrong with just being normal? <sighs> Do you agree that refusing to put Kai Ho in Charleston Primary School, despite evidence that he's academically gifted, indicates that she's not capable of making the right decisions for Kai? Kai is in Charleston now. Only after much intervention from my client and yourself, yes? Yes. What is your opinion of your daughter as far as her role as a mother is concerned? She's a bad mother. Hmm. 
But then again, so am I. I beg your pardon? I raised a daughter who got pregnant at 18, who then decided she would have her child and raise him herself. I let my husband kick my 18-year-old daughter out of our house because she got pregnant. I let my child feel abandoned in her time of need. I refused to do the right thing just because I felt ashamed. There are only bad mothers in this world. Because it is impossible to ever only make good and right decisions every single time it comes to your child. My daughter tries. Every day. She tries her best to do what is right for Kai. And you know what the truth is? She's a better mother than I ever will be. Because she would never abandon Kai. Unlike her own mother, who abandoned her. The witness is turning this whole issue into a drama. No. You did that when you compelled her mother to attend as a witness. We could have settled this amicably. Look. The parties need to determine the custody agreement of Kai Ho. It seems to me the parties would do better having a frank and honest conversation about this than ventilating matters in the court of law egged on by lawyers. Mom. You're not a bad mother. Hi, what are you doing here? It's actually day today, right? He's right. It's ice cream day. Um, make sure he drinks lots of water after the ice cream. I mean, I... Uh, Kai, come. Come here, Grandma. Thank you. You didn't have to do this. Not today. It's just been me and Kai for so long. I need to learn how to let you be more involved in his life. I'm not used to people challenging me and not letting me do what I want. I guess I have some growing up to do to be a better dad. You're his father, and you deserve that respect from me. Didn't listen. <clears throat> Back at home at the same time later. Thank you. Guy, uh, go on, let's go. Yeah. Hey, I told you everything would be just fine. Dude, how am I ever gonna repay you for everything that you've done? Don't worry about it. Just get Kai to give Nabila some tips on how to be a gifted child so she can get into GP. You know, Jen, you should have seen Amy in that. That was really quite a performance. She gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, bad mother. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm gonna go have lunch with my bad... of a mother. <laughs> See you guys later. See you. See you. Shall we go for lunch together?
Thanks for getting Nabila from school today. It's fine. You started Nabila on SA1 revision? Um, well, after you gave us those test papers, I thought I should just get cracking. So when can Nabila and Ada study together? Tuesdays and Thursdays are good because Richard doesn't have physio. I'll get back to you. I need to check on my meeting schedule. Well, I can pick Nabila up after school and bring her home when they're done. On some days, Nabila has enrichment classes. Oh, I thought you said you're going to stop all enrichment classes until exams are over. Do you, is there something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. It's just... I need to get myself organized with this SA1 thing, you know? It's my first time dealing with it. I'll get back to you on the date as soon as I can. Looking forward to it. Hilary, Mommy wants to know what are your favorite snacks. I like cheese and biscuits. Cheese and biscuits, okay. What's yours? Potato chips. Mommy doesn't let us eat junk food, but maybe she'll allow it since it's a study date. Are you having a play date, Hilary? No, we're having a study date. What's a study date? It's like a play date, but we do worksheets together. Then we mark each other's answers. Oh. Doesn't sound like fun. Well, it's more fun than studying by yourself. Can I join in? Mommy only let me have study dates with people who are cleverer than me or is going for GP. That way, I can learn from them. Maybe your mommy can ask my mommy? If I score 100 in this exam, we can have another play date. You can come to that. Yes, Margaret? You need me for something? What's wrong, Margaret? I need to go for extra lessons for my violin next week. Mr. Holmes says I can take my grade 5 this year and stuff next year, maybe. That's a good idea. Then you could take grade 6 next year and focus on your PSLE with the DSA option strongly in place. Yes. So, I thought maybe... To be in GP. I see. I don't really belong in GP, mommy. I'm not really gifted like Oko. Did someone tell you that? Your classmate? Who was it? No, I. I just want to be normal, mommy. And go to P4 like the others. Margaret, you put in a lot of effort to get into the GEP. Remember? Those extra hours for the GEP enrichment and practicing the GEP question with your Coco? I'm sure your other classmate also did the GEP enrichment. Why are they picking on you? Don't let a few silly 10 year olds make you think less of yourself. Mommy, they hate me. They are the deepest. They don't want me in their groups or doing presentations. They always make me scribe. The scribe gets the same points as everyone else in the group. Remember that. Margaret, your public speaking and presentation skill. Mommy made the mistake of not sending you to special classes on that. But I thought you were so confident on the violin, so I decided Never mind. We'll fix that, okay? I just want to go back to normal P4, Mommy. I promise I'll pass my grade 5. Why don't you ask Sokoko about the research project next year? 
And once you get excited over the research project, you'll see how fun it is to be in the GEP and why you should stay. All right? Ada, we don't need any more chips. We have plenty at home. But these are Nabila's favorite study snacks. And if I have them, maybe I'll be able to have a study date with her. Can we buy some? What do you mean, sweetie? I heard Hillary and Nabila talking about their study date together. She says that she'll only have a study date with people who are clever, or people going for the GIP. It's GEP. And if we have lots of them, then maybe Nebula will invite me for a study date with her. Jen, what's going on? How many bags will it take for Nabila to be willing to study with Ada? I mean, how many bags will it take to make up for Ada not being smart enough? I don't understand. Your daughter told Ada that she can only study with people who are smarter than her or going for GEP. Where did she get that idea from? Look, I just... I don't think it's beneficial for Nabila to study with Ada. Maybe that's how I should have thought when somebody was on the verge of flunking the F-Math. Jen, what a joke. I mean, you even ended up doing better than me on the final exam. Look, I know how this looks like. Look, my daughter might not be as smart as Hillary or Kai, but maybe she just needs a little encouragement. Maybe a little push from somebody like Nabila, who's supposed to be her friend. I don't know what's worse, that you don't think Ada is smart enough for Nabila or that you don't value our friendship enough to do this for me. Jen! How's it, Ghost? Good. Mommy, we're bored. Are the workshops too easy? No, it's just not very fun. Come here, Ada. Hilary, this is a study date, not a play date. But if Ada is here, I can play teacher. Tete or Kaka always gets to play teacher when we study together. Hi. The girl just finished their work. Come in. Mommy! Hello, Tigurani. Hi, girl. Okay, for next week, mm -hmm. do you mind if we cover math instead of English? The girls did quite a number of English worksheets today. Of course. Everything all right? Um... Uh, Chilean, I... I think that Ada should join the girls for the study date next week. I know you feel that Hillary should be studying with those who are of the same level as her. But I need to insist on this. If it's not acceptable, then the study date is off. So, the job I'd like Richard to think about is based in Shanghai. They're prepared to offer a full expatriate package, including international schools for Jeremy and Ada. Pa, we really appreciate it, but... I only told them that my son-in-law was looking for a job and that he's a very capable man. They decided they wanted him and to offer this package. Pa, that's great. Um, but can we think about it? 
No, can I have my sumai? Yeah, of course. I love dim sum. No one in the family does, so we never get to order them. I'm sorry, Mr. Bella. Sam has 12 storybooks. John has six storybooks. How many storybooks do they have? Um, two plus six? Eight. Eighteen. My turn now. This is the way it should be. Friends stick by each other and help each other. I want Nabila to grow up knowing the value of friendship. 